Within MindView is a dynamic Gantt chart. Let's explore how to create a project plan and schedule that project plan using the project Gantt. When using MindView, you can visualize your project scope using a mind map or the top-down work breakdown structure. Alternatively, you can just go straight into the project Gantt and start scheduling your project. The beauty of the tool is no matter where you add and update information, all of the other views update automatically. We'll explore how to create a project schedule both from the work breakdown structure and from the project Gantt. Here in this outline, I've already created the work breakdown structure. The beauty of scheduling your project from the WBS is that the hierarchy of the WBS will directly relate to the structure and outline of your schedule. The main deliverables of planning, product, marketing and sales will be automatically scheduled in the Gantt chart, rolling up the tasks beneath it to summarize the deliverable above. On the right hand side you'll find the task panel. When planning on using the Gantt to schedule a project, it's important to have Gantt mode on. You can either toggle that on within this task panel. Alternatively, when you change from the WBS into your Gantt, Gantt mode will automatically be turned on. The task panel makes it simple to select a task and to start editing duration, start and end date, and even task information such as priority, completion, and managing your resources. MindView has a built-in resource management tool that enables you to manage rates per resource as well as resource calendars. So let's imagine that we've got to the end of the brainstorming phase and we now want to turn our work breakdown structure into our project Gantt. To do this, simply change the view of the work breakdown structure into our Gantt. The hierarchy of the work breakdown structure has converted into the hierarchy of the Gantt. On the left hand side, we have the outline, columns depicting the data, and on the right hand side, the visualization of the schedule. The Gantt in mind view is all drag and drop. Drag and drop to define durations. Drag and drop to define the start and the end dates. And even drag and drop to define predecessors. As I edit the data on the right hand side, the outline data is being updated automatically. You can edit the data both within the outline or drag and drop in the visualization. Fast forwarding here, I've just created a very simple schedule. To customize the look and the feel of your Gantt, you've got both design and format options. Pre-made color schemes, and the ability to visualize the task and the resource directly onto the Gantt. As I mentioned before, MindView has a built-in resource management tool. Here you can add resources, manage their rate, allocate them as a work or material cost, and see summary of the total work and total cost of each of your resources. It's very easy to customize the schedule in the calendar. One option is to select the specific day and adjust the working hours accordingly. Any edited day is easily visualized within the calendar. Let's say for instance, you want to edit the schedule of a day for every single week. Instead of, se instead of selecting the specific day, select the column and edit the working hours. Notice in this example, it's even changed the color of the day from gray to white. Any changes to your calendar will also be visualized within the schedule of your Gantt. Notice how the columns of the day for Saturday have changed from gray to white. Additionally, within the MindView Gantt is the ability to create project baselines. To create a new baseline, select Create. So 
So again, fast forwarding a little bit, in this example, I've updated the completion of some of my tasks. Let's visualize that against our baseline. There's a few places where we can visualize the deviation between the baseline and the current status of our project. Within the outline, you can add any baseline data as a custom column. Simply right click and add the relevant baseline data. Alternatively, we can visualize any scheduled deviation by selecting Design and navigating to Show Baseline. Here, you can go between any number of baselines that you've created. Notice within the Gantt schedule, there's a deviation between the current schedule and the previous schedule, here defined by the yellow bar. Finally, we can get an overview of all of this project data, including our baselines, within our project reports. Project reports export into a HTML format. This means you can share them with anyone, regardless if they have access to MindView. The Settings tab gives you the ability to customize which project report you'd like to export. Exporting into HTML will launch the document within a browser. On the left-hand side are the different report options. Expand and collapse those options. And when you select an option, the panel on the right will update. Here we're reviewing our entire task list or even task status. Within resources, we can visualize the allocation of work, review the resource costs, and within the baselines, review any of that deviation, either by resource, summary, or even the milestone. The timeline is a great way of engaging your stakeholders into the project status. The timeline will always organize your assets within chronological sequence. And navigating to view, you can use customized or built-in features to show the relevant information for the relevant stakeholder. In this example, I just want to review the completed items. Here it's created a filter based just on the items that I want to discuss in an upcoming meeting. Alternatively, why not use the WBS itself to communicate progress within your project? For example, I want to give an update on planning. First, let's zoom in just on this section. Now, let us reveal the project data. Navigate to View, where we'll use Topic Data. In this final example, let's imagine we're creating our project schedule beginning with the Gantt. Let's start adding our project data. Notice how we're getting to the same endpoint as when we changed our work breakdown structure to the Gantt chart. We're now just using the Gantt to begin with. So whether you want to start with your brainstorming or your work breakdown structure, or starting straight in the Gantt chart, MindView has you covered.